Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Exploration. I've been seeing warnings popping up from time to time over the last, um, well, four hours, uh, saying that there's going to be a coronal mass ejection at, and giving me a countdown that uh, started about four hours and has been ticking away gradually over time. Uh, this is a bit of a concern and it's got down to like a minute or two left now, so I thought I'd, I'd get a bit of a recording so we can all see what it looks like. In the meantime, I'm um, hooking up this uh, my new oil station just to get everything just to get it just finish it off so it can start um, collecting oil and taking it off to the uh, to the to the oil processing facility so I'll copy the settings over from the other one and link it up and now uh, now now a train yeah here we go there's a, there's a train already that was that was quite quick I think it probably already knew there was some oil there so I do need to get my um, other train out of the way though for this to, <laughs> for this to work no, not quite enough space. Let's send it round the uh, round the loop again, and uh, that'll let the other two trains in, and they can do they can unload their stuff. Here we go, an oil train uh, loading up nicely. So this, here we go. Let's have a look at the um, find out what energy beams actually mean. It's uh, it, it get to, so it tells me that I can I can build defenses for them. There's an umbrella defense that I can build, and that will if I build one of those, it'll protect the planet from uh, one minute forty seven to go. If I build one, it'll protect the planet from coronal mass ejection, the entire planet, which is quite good. Um, but if there's if there's aliens in orbit shooting at me I'm not sure it mentions energy weapons so that's um, something a little bit outside my current um, experience level um, but for those you need um, a certain number of umbrella plants per um, per amount of energy that's delivered so, uh, the, by the by the energy weapons which makes certain sense they're basically she they're basically shields like in Star Wars um, but in for the meantime I'm currently more worried about whether my um, whether I've built enough solar panels so uh, yeah, that seems to be enough. There's a little blip in the um, in the uh, overnight from the accumulators discharging a little bit, but they're not they're not using very much of the power. And that's with all of these um, pump jacks in there running flat out. So I think this um, it seems that a, an oil mine doesn't need anything like as many solar panels as a as a regular mine. It's just there's they, they're just not as power hungry. Perhaps because there's so many fewer things there. Still warning me about the um, mass ejection. 47 seconds. That's uh, not very long. So yeah, at this point, I'm starting to get a little bit worried, but you know, just carrying on with other stuff as well. So I reckon I want to have the um, the, the oil tanks being filled from both sides. So I'm removing some of these these solar panels across here um, because that way you get a more even fill. You don't have to wait for it to sort of percolate across from one end to the other of the of, the, of all the all the tanks before you could, um, because the the uh, the train that just came through only managed to pick up about. 75% of its full capacity because the bottom tanks hadn't filled up with oil yet, so there just wasn't anything there for, for it to take. And there it's gone anyway, so that was a bit too late with that. But maybe next time it comes around there'll be enough oil in the bottom tanks. Right, there's the um, first coronal mass ejection. So it shows, it gives you a little thing you can click on, and that's missed. That's quite nice. Oh, but there's another one. That seems to have missed it by even more. So it's not 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 too bad so far. <laughs> oh, that one's. You can hear that killing biters. So that's um, doing work for doing stuff, doing work for me. Excellent. Um, there's a couple more. And then again, they're only off in uh, in biter territory. Uh, so far, so good. Oh dear, this one looks bad. Yeah, that's um, not ideal, should we say? It's just <laughs> ripping through my entire, um, uh, ripping through all, all the solar for the uh, smelting array. Destroyed 160, 170 th items so far. Oh dear, it's going into the actual, um, what do you call it itself? Into the actual smelting array nearly 400 things destroyed. How long do these things go on for? This is horrific. <laughs> the bots are going berserk trying to fix it all as it happens. Uh, it's still going. How, mu how much of my my um, smelting farm is this going to rip through? These things go on for ages. 550, 560, 1500 things damaged, 500 destroyed. 
and it's ticking down. It's going down again now because it's got to the point where it's it's blown them up and they're, they're, it knows the blow. Oh, it's finished at last. Um, okay, there's a couple of them left on the map, but it seems like only one of them actually struck an area I care about. Uh, yeah, that was that was a bit horrific, if I'm being honest. It just came through, ripped an enormous chunk out of my um, solar and smelting arrays over here, um, and partly damaged and damaged all the belts even remotely in the vicinity. That was just like being attacked by some sort of Death Star from on high. <sighs> I guess the next step is just to go in and try and fix it up a bit, go and repair all the damage, and hopefully there won't be another one for at least another four hours. Oof. So I then came in and started looking around for to, to repair it. Um, I've, I've loaded up this chest here with things like belts and railway lines and power poles and and so on. All the things I had in my train that I think are going to be useful. I think it's going to need a lot more belts actually. Let's give it a few more of these. There we go. Um, so these bots will be busy rebuilding for a while. I'm trying to work out what else I need. So the, um, the turrets I think it probably already... let's give it some more turret. I don't have any more turrets. Put some more turrets in there. Um, I've already given it all of my repair packs because it's going to need a lot of repair packs just to, to, to repair all the all the damage stuff. Turrets. Oh, uh, burner inserters. I don't have any of those either. Probably because I've already dumped them in there. Um, yeah, I, sorry, there's 17 of them in there. That's probably enough actually. Only a little bit of the damage occurred around the around the wall. Okay, so that was a uh, coronal mass ejection. That was good fun, wasn't it? <laughs> it's now going to take... Well, it's going to take the bots a while to repair all of this. The other thing is, of course, because the um, power went down... Oh, that's what, actually, I was going to say, because the power went down, I lost radar for this area, so I couldn't tell what was going on. But it looks like a bit of the repairs have been done now on that sort of area. So I've got power back. Um, is there a dead radar in here somewhere? I'm not sure. Let's put some more radar in, in the chest, just in case. It's a bit more. I don't think it needs 24. Six will be plenty. Okay, so I think my plan now is to leave this ticking, leave these repairs ticking away for a for a little while, while the bots come in and try and try and fix everything up. There's there's only 28 construction bots here. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go back to the um, the main base, bring get some more construction bots and bring them over because that base is capable of supporting a lot more than 28. Um, this outpost, sorry, is capable of supporting a lot more than 28 construction bots with the number of uh, uh, roboports it's got in it. So if I bring some more of those out, it'll speed up the repairs. I'll get, I'll bring some more um, solar panels out as well because there's not remotely enough of those here. Uh, belts might be enough. I dumped quite a lot in there, but uh, we'll, we'll see when we come back. Uh, I'm going to turn off logistics demand so I don't just get filled up with stuff I don't want. Um, yeah, so... Whilst that um, that coronal mass attack, for want of a better word and description of it, um, seemed pretty horrific while it was happening, and it was just ripping through, destroying enormous quantities of stuff, because I've got um, the construction bots down here, and I've got lots of repair packs, and I've got I've got all the, it's not destroyed anything particularly unique. It's not actually that bad. It's it's a bit of a setback. It's an annoyance. I need to I'm going to need to come in here and and do and make sure everything gets repaired, but other than that, it could have been a lot worse. Um, I was going to say if it had ripped through the main bus that would have been worse, but again that's all made up of things I have plenty of and can just repair with the bots. If I'd, if I'd started up building, um, building rocket silos, perhaps then I'd have been a lot more upset, because those are things that are a bit hard. To, I don't tend to making quite the same sort of levels of bulk. Um, they tend to hold enormous quantities of resources. Because you've got if you've got a if you've got a rocket that's 99% finished, there's a lot of um, low density structures. I would say rocket control units, but I can't remember whether they're an angel bob thing or a uh, <laughs> or a vanilla thing. Is that everything I wanted? No, I haven't got any more repair packs. Oh, never mind. Okay, so this has been a uh, just going to be a quick episode. I wanted to show you the uh, the explosive damage of that coronal mass ejection and. Uh, and, and, and obviously how I'm, how I'm dealing with it afterwards. Uh, I think this is actually going to be quite a good thing because I needed, I needed a lot more solar panels down here anyway because there aren't enough. This, this area 
facility keeps running out of power every night. Um, and I've been pacing them in here, but not actually providing enough. So this has given me a, a, a shove in the right direction to come over and actually bring some solar panels in like that. Oh, I didn't get any bots. Bloody hell. That was the main reason I went. And I didn't get any. Right. Okay. I'll carry on with this. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I won't get blown up again. See you next time.